Hello and welcome. This is Matthew, and today we're going to take a quick look at how pervasive the relational database is in the IBM I operating system. Uh, this is the old AS400 operating system that was really designed to be an operating system in support of building business applications on top of relational databases. Uh, and you'll see that heritage in that the operating system itself has the relational database engine built into its kernel, and it tends to use it for just about everything given that it's there in the core of the operating system. So first we'll look at what you'd expect with a database, right? I can use SQL commands. I can create a table. Uh, we'll put this in the library in Wilson. We'll call it people. Uh, what attributes do we want people to have? Uh, we'll give them a name, uh, say a short name field here, and maybe the state they live in. Great, so that table's created. We can insert into people. Uh, say we can add me, I'm Matthew Wilson, I live in Oregon. And who else can we add? Uh, let's say Bill Gates up in Washington. And now as you'd expect, I can select from my table and we can see the results. And because it is SQL, I can, you know, have where clauses, uh, where name like M percent, and we'll get uh, just the one starting with M. So that all works as we'd expect. Okay, easy enough. Uh, let me change my current library to M. Wilson, so I don't need to keep qualifying that uh, as the library. Now, if we work with objects, uh, we can prompt that if you don't quite know the syntax of the command. So we'll look at all objects in that M. Wilson library. And you can see here, I created that table called people. And what happened is people, it's actually just a file in this library. Uh, I created that in the M. Wilson library. That was M. Wilson slash people. It's a physical file. Physical files are what hold actual data in the system, as opposed to logical files, which uh, you can think of as both indexes and views. Uh, so not the actual data in the table, but other ways to look at or access that data. But in this case, we created a table that holds real data. So it's the people file, and it's a physical file. Interesting. So database tables are just files in the file system, and the operating system kernel has facilities to uh, use database techniques and the SQL language, for example, on those physical files. OK, interesting. Let's say we want to write a program. We'll create a program in C. Uh, so I need somewhere to store my source code, and we'll create a source physical file. Uh, we'll call it QC source. That file is created. So let's start the program development manager. Uh, we'll work with members, QC source, and Wilson. Perfect. That's what I created. Nothing in there yet. We can hit F6 to create a new file. I'll call it hello world. Uh, we'll say that's a C source file. And now we can just start typing in our program. So we're in our, our text editor here. Uh, I'll just put together a quick and dirty hello world here. Char argv. Uh, and we'll just print f hello world. OK, easy enough. Simple C program. Let's exit out of that. We want to save that. So now we have our hello world uh, member here in this QC source file. We will compile that. Down at the bottom, you can see that compiled successfully. So that means we can now call hello world. And just as we expect, we printed out hello world. OK. So why are we doing all of that? Let's work with objects again. OK, so some things have changed. We have our hello world object, which is a program. OK, so that's our compiled program. We still have that people file, which is a physical file. And that makes sense because we created that through SQL, create table, people. 
Now, what about this QC source? This is the object I created to hold my source code for that Hello World program. It's also a file. Like, okay, that makes sense. You keep source code in files. It's also a physical file. So when you're looking at the listing of objects in my library, you can't distinguish between a SQL database table and what's essentially a text file that has my C source code. Well, that's kind of interesting. Is that just because this view isn't showing me the full picture of, oh, well, this is one thing and this is another thing? Or is what's happening actually what looks like what's happening? Let's start SQL again. What if I select star from QC source? Well, sure enough, my source code is in a database table. That database table just happens to be called QC source because that's the file name I created to hold my source code. And I have what I was entering in the text editor, but I also have a couple other columns. We saw the sequence numbers in the text editor, and now we know those are kind of important because if this is just a database table with rows, relational database tables don't have an inherent order to the row. You have to have something if you want to be able to consistently order them. Kind of interesting. So this isn't just like pretending to show me a text file as if it were a database. I, can, I have all of SQL available to me now. I can order by source DTA and my source code's in a different order, right? You can see the sequence numbers are now out of order because I'm, I'm sorting by the actual text of each line of the source code. So what looked like a text editor just entering source code was actually some kind of database client text editor. <laughs> I guess that's the best way you'd describe it. And because there's this relational database engine underlying this operating system, built into this operating system, uh, I guess why not store just about everything as database tables? Good question, but that's what this operating system does. So hope that was interesting. Uh, it's just kind of a funny look at, you know, when you have a hammer, everything's a nail, right? You have a database engine in your operating system, so why not use it? You get the power of databases, of SQL, of all the access methods to database tables uh, on everything you put into this system. So with that, we'll probably be looking more at uh, the IBM I operating system in the future. But today, just wanted to show that uh, it's databases all the way down.